Hey, what's good family? In this video, I'm going to be showing you where to set your stop loss. All right, so here we are in the TradingView platform. We are currently on the four hour chart. And the reason I'm making this video is because I took a trade on the SPY yesterday. I enter right here at about 542.25. I was making a reversal trade and we have this demand zone and it kind of just ripped right past it. So I'm going to actually delete that. We got a candle close below it right here, here. And our wicks were down here. And so in this instance, instead of respecting a demand zone, it actually decided to respect this area of support right here. This 440 level this morning sold off below it. And then it's rocketed up since. And the way I chart, you can see I... This was my trade plan right here. I bought in right here. My stop loss was right here. Of course, this morning we came, broke my stop loss. Stop loss went to about 538.50. It came down a dollar past my stop loss. So it didn't just break my stop loss. It went past almost a full dollar. So I was like, hey, let me get out of this trade. What I was eyeing when I placed my stop loss, whenever you're looking for a stop loss, whether it's to the upside or downside, you always want to look to the left and go a little bit past it. So in this instance, the area I was targeting was this right here, this little, the tip of this wick right here. And as you could see, that would be right about 539. So I went about 50 cents past it. And what's going on right here, what made me enter this trade, this right here would be a sweep of liquidity because it came right here, formed some liquidity, and then this liquidity was never taken out. Uh, right here in this instant, as this wick is being formed, the liquidity got taken out, which simply means this wick came down further and took this level out. And now it is buying back up from this point. Whenever you see stuff like this, know that someone aggressively push up the price and there were a lot of buy orders down here which is exactly why whenever it got pushed down again there was strong aggressive buying this video is supposed to be about where to set your stop loss so in the grand scheme of things i have my stop loss right here i looked to the left i saw this little wick right here but i did make this trade on the four hour time frame so it probably would have been more beneficial Actually, I don't think I did anything wrong on this trade, but either way, you got a lesson out of it. Ultimately, when you're setting your stop losses, you want to look to the left at the next key level, which in this instance was right here. And you want to put your stop loss further than that, because it is often likely that when it comes to where the stock price is going to go, the way that the stock market moves, they're going to do what is referred to as stop loss hunting and try to take out all the stops. In this instance, my stop loss was taken out. Right here, they were hunting for my trade and they got me and I took an L because I didn't have my stop loss far enough. But one more thing you wanna pay attention to is going to be the risk to reward ratio. So right here with my stop loss right here and my profit target being kinda of right here, my risk to reward ratio honestly wasn't even that good. It was a 1.4. Usually I'm looking for at least a two or a three, which in this instance, at this word two, it'd be about right here. And I could have brought this out, could have brought this here, or if I were targeting the next supply zone, which would be about right here, this would be about a two risk to reward ratio. And this would have worked out. So if you learn anything from this video, trust your charting. Uh, stick to your plan. Trading is a game of probabilities. It's not always going to go your way. Even if you are right, they do things like stop loss hunting to get you out of your trades so they can profit off you. And this is one of the instances that I got got. So please be sure to learn from this. And if you haven't taken advantage of the Moomoo link down below in the description, hey, be sure to do that. And that's eight free stocks when you deposit $100 and an extra 12 free stocks on top of that when you deposit a thousand dollars or more if you enjoyed the video or learn anything please be sure to smash the like button if for some reason you're new here and haven't already please be sure to subscribe and last but certainly not least thank you so much for watching matthew manuel signing off and i want to change your life